Hello, my name is Dale Wilhite from Mountain Village, Colorado. If you want to find out anything about me, you can go to MySpace where I have a, a very big page there. This here is a concept that would reduce the number of highway kidnappings, rapes, and murders. I'm going to give you a quick example of what I'm talking about here of the horror and terror that can uh, take place on a highway if you're broken down. It was either last year or the year before, and I believe it was the year before, a lady on Interstate 25 heading south from Denver to Colorado Springs uh, broke down. And some guy comes up, guy pulls up behind her, offers their help, and then tries to rape her. And he literally pushes her in her own car, closes the door, and it is in the middle of trying to rape her. I mean, he was in the process of, of raping her. How far he got, I don't know, and I don't want to know. But then another motorist who was a lady pulls up behind him to give help. He jumps out of the car, jumps in his car, and takes off. To the best of my knowledge, they did catch him because, you know, obviously they got his, the second lady got his uh, license tag number. And I hope they give him 20 years for it. Anyhow, here is my idea that would help reduce some of these highway rapes, murders, and kidnappings. And this is something you can participate in, something you can do that wouldn't, I don't think would take much of an effort, you know, unless you get a lot of resistance. We need to enact laws throughout the United States, state by state, city by city, county by county, maybe. Uh, I don't want this on a federal level. I don't want anything to, I don't want the White House or the Congress involved in this. Um, that enact laws that require all uh, city, county officials who, who witness or see a person broken down to pick them up. Now, a lot of police officers will do that. But we also need, you know, uh, county workers who are driving a, a county vehicle or something like that to do the same thing. We need cab drivers who might be coming in from a fair or something like that. And somebody needs help to, uh, by law, would have to pick somebody up. At least, they don't have to take them to their final destination, but take them to a safe place where they can get off and make a phone call. Um, I picked this idea here in San Miguel County, Colorado, a couple of years ago, and all I get was a bunch of lip service, although the sheriff here did say that his people do that, and he's correct. Uh, they will, the deputies here will pick somebody up if they're broken down. Um, but I'd also had pitched the idea that, uh, the entire county workers, all county workers who were in a county vehicle, should by law be required to do the same thing if that person wants help. And they're broken down on the side of the highway. Uh, but I also believe that we, that Telluride Express and Mountain Limo, who are basically cabs, they go back and forth to the airport in Montrose and Durango and uh, places like that and drive people all around at a very high cost. But it cost them a lot to operate here and it cost them a lot to pay their employees, so that's why the cost is so high. Um, would be required by law to do the same thing. The main objective is to get people off the highway as quickly as possible, if they're out in the middle of nowhere especially, so they cannot become a victim of, of a kidnapping, a rape, or a murder. That's what I'm trying to accomplish here. And you can do so by contacting your county commission, going before the county commission or your city commission, uh, talk to your mayor, talk to your congressional representative, the state congressional representative, um, and people like that to see if they can enact such a law that requires this. The point of it is, is that there are a lot of murders, rapes, and kidnappings that, that take place all across America every year uh, by people who are taking advantage of someone who is broken down on the side of the road. I used to be a professional truck driver for a very short period of time because I'm also an insomniac and I decided that uh, that was getting a little bit too dangerous to be uh, driving a 48 state and, and having some problems sleeping a lot. That's because I'm hyper obsolete. Um, but when you go back to some of the recreation rooms at some of these truck stops, they have right up there, you know, they have the America's top wanted list, you know, for the FBI, FBI's top wanted list. They also have photos up there of people missing. And I was amazed one time in Arizona at how many of these people that were missing were last seen broken down on the side of the road. I rest my case. This is something that would stop and prevent some rapes, some kidnappings, and some murders. Because when you're out there broken down on the side of the road somewhere, you're, unless you have a weapon or something, you're, you're easy prey. And there are people out there who will prey upon somebody just looking for some, that kind of opportunity. And this is one way to deny them that. But these laws must be very, very uh, uh, direct and intact, meaning they must be enforced.
if a person is broken down the side of the road, I'm driving a county vehicle or something like that, by law, if they want to be picked up, I will pick them up. And of course, I direct this mostly at the women because they're the ones that get, that get uh, attacked the most. You know, these, these freaks and weirdos, you know, they look for the easiest prey they can find. Although there are some women out there that pull a gun on them and send them, put up, send them to their created God, you might say. Uh, to say that all women are, are helpless and weak is, is completely a lie. I've known quite a few women that can go hand-in-hand -hand with any man. And they're still women now. You know, you, again, there's, there's women who'll fight back. And that's where, and, and they should. But I'm still directing this mostly at women because I remember that case and I remember seeing all those photos of people missing on the side of the road and right below it, the last scene broken down at so and so uh, marker or so and so highway. And that's what I remember. And it's been with me ever since. You know, and this was back in the early 1990s, about around 19, I think it was 1991, summer of 1991. I was driving for J.B. Hunt out of Atlanta, Georgia. So, anyhow, you can make this a reality by talking first to your city or county officials and even to your sheriff. Get your sheriff uh, or your police chief on board to support you. And you can help prevent a rape, rapes, murder, murders, or kidnapping, or kidnappings. You can do, it can make a difference in your own community, in your own county, in your own city, in your own state of influence. It spreads. And it just requires you just to take, send an email to them. And you could save some lives. It might be yours. It might be uh, someone in your family or it might be some or some friend. It doesn't matter who it is. doesn't matter what their race is. doesn't matter what they look like. doesn't matter what their income is. Nothing of that matters. A human being is a human being. And, they should, and we should do everything we can to help protect them to the best of our uh, ability. And, of course, within the Constitution. And this is more than constitutional. Make sure you do this, please. You can make a difference. And you can save some woman from life being ruined or from losing her life. Or some kid or some guy up there broke down the side of the road who gets, a, gets his head blown off so some freaking weirdo can steal his vehicle or steal a few dollars out of his wallet. It's people kill and do these things for the dumbest reasons in the world. I do not understand. Anyhow, thank you for your time. And I hope you will take my advice and I hope that you will make this a reality. It's very important.